Good morning, friends. Uh, welcome to another session of uh, Shere Khan Pre Market View. This is Shaji Nair. I'll be taking you to, through today's session. Uh, starting off uh, uh, with the yesterday's market, uh, let's have a quick recap of how the global indices fared yesterday. Uh, starting with Asian indices, we had uh, Nikkei and Hang Seng. Both were up around 1%. Uh, and back home, we had Nifty, uh, which uh, gapped up uh, close to 40-odd points, uh, around 7,900 levels. Uh, post that, it rallied further to 7,940 levels. Uh, in the afternoon session, we saw a bit of uh, correction set in, or Nifty shedding some of its gains. Uh, and uh, finally, Nifty happened to close at 7,890 levels, which was around 30-odd points higher. Uh, the top uh, gainers on the Nifty were uh, ONGC, Access Bank and HDFC, whereas the top losers on the Nifty was uh, Aisha Motors, uh, NTPC and Aurobindo Pharma. On the buzzing stocks we had Sun TV which rose close to 9-10% to uh, on the back of uh, the exit poll results uh, which showed uh, the results favouring a DMK alliance, uh, DMK alliance uh, to gain a greater share in the uh, recently concluded uh, Tamil Nadu elections. Uh, and uh, the other stock that was buzzing was Matasan Sumi, uh, close to around uh, seven, uh, 9 to 10% higher, uh, this stock too. And this was uh, on the back of good set of uh, the quarterly numbers. And uh, oil and ONGC shares were also up uh, close to 3.5% uh, on the back of spurt and crude prices. And uh, the FI flows uh, or the fund flows, we had the foreign institutional uh, investors uh, being net sellers to yesterday to the tune of uh, 225 crores whereas the uh, domestic institutional investors were uh, net uh, buyers to the tune of 385 crores. The FIs on the other hand in the futures uh, segment uh, they were uh, net uh, uh, buyers to the tune of uh, 296 cro odd crores. And uh, uh, now looking at the uh, European indices, the European indices CAC and DAX were down in the red whereas uh, uh, the FTSE was up uh, close to 0.3%. The CAC uh, was uh, down 0.3% whereas the DAX was uh, down 0.6%. Uh, and today morning we had uh, Asian indices uh, starting on a, a negative, uh, slightly negative note, a mix, bit of mixed cues also coming from the Asian market. Uh, uh, on the back of uh, uh, the overnight uh, how the US markets closed. Uh, Dow Jones was down about 1% and uh, today Hang Seng in the morning is down about 1%. Uh, uh, Nikkei is uh, slightly up around 0.7%. Uh, SGX uh, taking cues from the global markets uh, is around 20 or uh, 30 odd points down. Uh, so we could see a muted start for the Nifty in the morning today. And uh, now over to the derivative update. Good morning friends, I'll do analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's trading session was a kind of a relief rally which we have seen uh, Nifty uh, showing some kind of a positive upside in the initial part of the day. And thereon, uh, it had, uh, 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 in, the, in the beginning of the trade we saw Nifty uh, showing some kind of a gap up opening of around 40-50 odd points and it continued its upward momentum throughout the day uh, uh, apart from bearing the last one, one, uh, one and a half hours of trading session where we have seen some kind of a selling pressure. A sharp sell-off, however, was able to maintain its uh, uh, positive uh, positive gains uh, uh, in, uh, of Nifty in yesterday's trading session. How, but eventually, it did uh, manage to close uh, with just a minor gain of 0.26 percentage of the day's highs and uh, just uh, above uh, 7,900 odd levels at 7907.60. On the open interest terms, we did saw some kind of a long addition of 3 percentage was added in open interest. Uh, Nifty added uh, 6 odd lakh shares in the absolute terms in the open interest while cost of carry dipped a bit from 12 percentage to 8 and a half odd percentage that is Nifty premium is currently trading anywhere around 20 to 25 odd points uh, compared to 35 36 odd points while uh, put call ratio in increased by 4 basis point in line with the market going up we did saw a 4 basis point rise in put call ratio which increased from 0 0.92 to 0 0.96 odd levels while volatility index cooled off a bit by 4 odd percentage and it cooled from 17 odd levels to 16.37 odd levels. On the options activity, a majority of the call option have seen an unwinding, make it 7,900-8,000 strike price. I have seen an unwinding in here around 3 to 5 odd percentage. Uh, while in the put side, uh, we did saw a significant amount of addition in 7,900 put option of around 47 odd percentage, which was more of a put writing which was been seen in, uh, in that strike price. While 7,800 strike price have also seen an addition of around 
12 odd percentage and is now the highest in terms of open interest uh, for this series as majority of the build up of 7700 strike price uh, as it saw some kind of an unwinding which was the highest in terms of open interest and now it's getting shipped to from lower strike price to the high strike price which is a positive sign for the market so all in all we, we have been seeing an unwinding in uh, a majority of the strike price in this series it's difficult to gauge if this unwinding has been there uh, if uh, market could breach that resistance or levels as we have been seeing that unwinding since the start of the series 7700 7800 put option 8000 call option all have seen uh, all have uh, been uh, showing an unwinding so uh, it's difficult to uh, suggest the trend uh, after seeing an unwinding in the open interest but yeah 7900 put option which has seen a good amount of put writing which is clearly visible as it have, uh, as open interest have been uh, increased by 47 percentage so our main focus uh, would be on the activity of 7900 put option in today's trading session since we have been about to open on a, uh, open on a bit of bit kind of a negative start but if 7900 uh, levels has been hold on or if we don't see a major unwinding in 7900 put option strike price and we might see 7900 to hold on and if we could see more upside till 8000 uh, 7950 8000 is a crucial resistance but slowly and steadily it can uh, see uh, an upside in that direction while if 7900 put option sees an unwinding uh, in open interest in today's trading session then expect market to breach 7900 and can fall further uh, and also our VWAP of 7886 uh, is also on a, uh, on a cautious note so all in all activity of 7900 put option would be uh, watched quite closely in today's trading session there are two securities in bank period for today's trade that is Oriental Bank and Jindal Steel FIR has been net buyers in index futures however the buying amount was quite minimal they were net buyers in index futures by around 296 short crores, index options 600 and, uh, net buyers by 647 crores, stock futures net buyers by 403 crores and stock options net sellers by 10 crores only. On the market level of items we have standard 7886 with a lower range at 7886 and higher range at 8000. 8650 is trading is negative, uh, it's down by 30, 31 odd points taking negative views from the international markets. And it's quoting anywhere around 7878.50 indicating some kind of a soft to negative opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. So friends, uh, now we shall look at, uh, into the equity trading ideas and the news updates for today. On the trading idea, we have Voltas which reported good set of numbers. Uh, uh, the adjusted profit was uh, up around 27% uh, uh, to around 148 crores. Uh, uh, this was uh, led uh, by the turnaround in electromechanical project segment and uh, also the margins uh, were a positive surprise. Uh, on the reported path, uh, it, the growth is close to 50 odd percent. So one can go long on Voltas keeping a stop loss at 328 for an upside target of 345 and uh, 352. Uh, the next uh, equity trading idea is Glaxo Consumer. Uh, Glaxo Consumer has reported uh, disappointing numbers uh, with respect to uh, the Sher Khan research, uh, cons uh, research estimates as also with respect to the street estimates. So we think uh, one can go short on uh, GSK Consumer keeping a stop loss at 6207 uh, for a downside target of uh, 5903 and 3782 levels. Uh, now let's move to the news update section. Uh, Glenmark uh, has got another uh, approval, FDA approval for a generic uh, drug. Ashok Leyland gets patent for lightweight composite articles for the auto industry. Then NBCC to fix the stock split on 3rd June 2016. And uh, a future consumer enterprise limited is to raise uh, money via compulsory convertible debentures uh, on preferential basis in its board meeting to be held on 19th May. SBI is to merge Bharatiya Mahila Bank with itself and uh, All India Banking Employees Association calls for an All India strike on May 20th against the SBI merger plan. SBI is looking to sell 5% stake in NSE in an effort to pair non-core investment and uh, this sale is expected to uh, fetch around 1000 odd crores to SBI. One person beverages launches coconut water under brand Coco Sip. CCI approves acquisition of rise operations of HUL uh, by LT Foods. 
then we have Syntex uh, Industries to consider NCD issue of up to rupees 200 odd crores. Then SREI Infra Finance plans to sell non core ventures. And uh, we have government, uh, Karnataka government, inks power purchase pact with NTPC. Also, Dolphin Offshore wins a $3.99 million contract from ONGC for underwater structure repair. On our result updates, we have uh, Relaxo Footwear, the numbers uh, were out a day or two ago. Uh, it, it had reported weak, uh, a bit of weak set of numbers, there was a one-off also. Uh, the revenue growth was 10.2% YOY on account of soft demand and increased competition, uh, but we maintain a buy on the stock. United Bank uh, reported uh, disappointing numbers, uh, net loss uh, came at uh, 413 crores versus a profit of 104 Point five crores. Uh, uh, th these numbers are Y O Y figures. Uh, Mahindra Holidays. Uh, the net profit came in at thirty two point one crores uh, against uh, ten point uh, four crores uh, in the prior in the period uh, in the last fiscal. Gujarat Gas reported uh, good set of numbers. Net profit came at fifty eight point one percent uh, versus twenty point one crore. Th these numbers are on a quarterly basis or a sequential basis. On results today, we have PTC India uh, is expected to report a profit of 33 crores, Ratnamani uh, around 38.4 crores, Skipper around 34 crores, Torrent Power around 285 crores, uh, Bal Krishna Industries 96.3 crores, and uh, PNB around uh, a loss of 85.7 crores. On our watch list section, we have uh, stocks with positive bias based on the derivative data we have. HCL Tech, Arvind and IGL. On the negative list, uh, we have Tata Motor, DBR, DHFL uh, and Bharat Forge. On stocks for investment, we have Axis Bank, Britannia, Bharat Electronics Limited, HDFC Bank and Sun Pharma. Uh, thank you and uh, happy investing and trading today. Uh, thanks for tuning in.